Hey, orange one here. We're gonna be going on and showing off the Kuzate board game here. Uh, sorry, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, dang it. So this city, actually, they don't have us sitting on couches. They got us sitting on proper chairs here. That's kind of nice, so it's easier for us to click on. Yeah, we're going to be playing Pollock, which they you can get a little description here. Um, we're going to be making sure that we're playing on the hardest difficulty, and we're going to be playing for as much cash as we can. Um, this game is a little bit harder than Tablet, but it's not too bad. So let's go ahead and just uh, dive into it. Um, it's really interesting because basically you've got these things right here which you roll and there's either a red side or not red side and they give you points so basically each one of these you can get one point two three four um and then or you could just have zero zero points right and so basically you move uh forward as many things as you can or um, it's easier to just kind of show it. So like I can move two forward if I get to, he can move two forward and you can move any of your pieces. And so basically what this rules, this uh, ends up being is like these guys, they can't move two up because I already have a piece there. So you're trying to just strategically place your things so that when you're rolling, because if you're thinking about this, um, the average on this should be um, your highest is four, your lowest is zero, so your average is two, I believe. Yeah, because you can, yeah, add those up and, do... yeah, so it should be an average of two. So on average, you should be getting two. Sometimes um, you'll get a three and a one. Very rarely you'll get zeros and fours. So just kind of keep that in mind. You want to be placing your guys um, so that you're either getting a two or three um, move so that you can take a piece. So yeah, I can take this piece, but they're pretty likely to be able to take them next turn. Um, I think I'm going to go for it because it's a piece. And it's not guaranteed that they're going to get it, but yeah, they got it. I could have probably um, not done that, and that probably would have been smarter. I'm going to move this one up in hopes that I can catch you. Yeah, if I can get like a one, that's perfect. So now I've got that. And I'm gonna work on trying to get that guy back here because they're very unlikely to get that many. They're not likely to catch up with me at this point. So yeah, they've got uh, two. So here it requires me to get a one to get uh, that one home. And it also blocks my two. So I'm not sure if I actually want to move that up or move this up. I think I'm going to move you up. It's hard to say. Sometimes it's hard to know what the best call is. But like here I've got a three, which is fairly likely. So I kind of knew that that was coming my way. You can kind of see the strategy behind this. And I can't move these up. I have to move that. That's my only move. So sometimes you get forced to move in a certain way. But you can see that already, just by taking out those pieces, I've done pretty well for myself. This guy is pretty likely to get taken. I mean, it's not guaranteed, but it's uh, not impossible either. So yeah, we don't have enough to get them. So I'm just going to move you up so you're closer. Closer to the action, you know? Again, you don't have enough, and I do have enough to get you kind of involved. See, this is going to give me... I could get two or one, and I could get them back. I got a four. I didn't even think that that would be a way to get that back. Okay, so we got two. Um, I think the only move that I have is this. I mean, that piece is probably going to get taken, or not. Two... Again, I think my only move is moving you up. That's you're probably gonna get taken. Yeah, I had a feeling. As long as we can get these back, then I think we're we're fine. We'll win this. It's this game takes a little bit longer, um, but it's also due to the random numbers. It could be a very short game or it could be a very quick game. You know, kind of hard to say. It could also, in theory, go on for forever, but it's not going to. 
Yeah, that was my only move there. You get stuck from time to time. Is that? Yes. I'll take that. Okay, they got their pieces not quite back. Yeah, if you get stuck, they end up going in a circle. So you kind of don't want to be right there because you're going to get circled around a ton. You don't want to be on the one right before you get back. Um, sure, we'll take that. That gets us pretty far back. Yeah, see, he's just doing the dance until he gets a one. Well, um, I got a one there. They did not get the one. I'm gonna... Oh, man, that was a dumb move. I shouldn't have done that. See, because now... That was a really dumb move. Oh, that one actually gets you to move even further. Huh. No! That was... I think that might have been my only call there. Up to... Yeah, I think we're going to lose this piece because uh, we unfortunately don't really have any other moves. Unless we just kind of shuffle around. I think I'm going to do that. Come closer, my pretties. Um, That gets you quite a bit up there. That is not quite the move I want to make. I think I'll go here because they're probably going to be able to take you. Okay, now we've got pretty good odds of taking them. Yeah. We'll do that. But now they've got good odds of taking us. Nope. They did not quite get it. Okay, I can move one up. Um, dang it. I'm trapped. I can either move you up. Yeah, I think that we want to move you up because there's... Okay, we may not have won this. I thought we had, but... Oh, nope, we won it. Sweet. Okay, cool. So yeah, you just keep on going, and just knowing probability-wise is that you want to be getting, like, the middle the middle numbers. When you're flipping coins, that's most likely what's going to happen. You can think of them as a point system, them kind of adding up, essentially. So we should get something in the middle. Um, again, it is only four straws being flipped, so there's going to be some pretty high variation from that, but... Uh, that's essentially how you use random number generation to win Paluck. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.